Sexual reproduction. 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 Sexual reproduction is a union that results in increasing genetic diversity of the offspring. It is characterized by two processes. Biosis. Involving the halving of the number of chromosomes. And fertilization. Involving the fusion of two gametes. And the restoration of the original number of chromosomes. During meiosis, the chromosomes of each pair okay. yeah. to achieve recombination. Sexual reproduction is the primary method of reproduction for the vast majority of visible orga organisms, including almost all animals and plants. The male reproductive system contains two main divisions, the penis and the testes. <laughs> the latter of which is where sperm are produced. In humans, both of these organs are, are outside the abdominal cavity, but they can be primarily housed within the abdomen in other animals. For instance, in dogs, the penis is internal except when mating. <laughs> Having the testes outside the abdomen best facilitates temperature regulation of the sperm, which requires specific temperatures to survive. Sperm are the smaller of the two gametes and are generally very short lived, requiring males to produce them continuously from the time of sexual maturity until death. Prior to Ejaculation of the produced sperm are stored in the seminal vesicle, a small gland that is located just behind the bladder. The sperm cell is now mobile and swims via chemotaxis, <laughs> using its flagellum to propel itself towards the ovum. The female reproductive system likewise contains two main divisions, the vagina and uterus. which act as the receptacle for the sperm and the ovaries. Which produce the female's ova. All of these parts are always internal. The vagina is attached to the uterus through the cervix. While the uterus is attached to the ovaries via the fallopian tubes, At certain intervals, the ovaries release an ovum, which passes through the fallopian tube into the uterus. If in this transit it meets the sperm, <laughs> penetrate and merge with the egg, fertilizing it. The fertilization occurs in the oviducts, but can happen in the uterus itself, the zygote, then implants itself in the wall of the uterus where it begins the process of embryogenesis and morphogenesis. When developing enough to survive inside the womb, the cervix dilates and contractions of the uterus propel the fetus through the birth canal which is the vagina.
The ova are larger than sperm and are generally all created by birth. They are for the most part stationary aside from their transit to the uterus and contain nutrients from the later zygote. And, over a regular interval uh, process of matures one ovum to be sent down the <laughs> fallopian tube attached to its ovary in anticipation of fertilization. If not fertilized, this egg is flushed out of the system through menstruation in humans and great apes and reabsorbed in all other mammals in the estrus cycle Braden just putting the vibe out <laughs>